How to take a screenshot from a specific widget or from the whole device screen in Flutter. After the screenshots are then captured, we will save them to the local file storage into the gallery, or we will also share the screenshots with other media such as WhatsApp, Facebook, etc. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. To capture screenshots from the screen and from widgets, we make use of the package screenshot. Simply create a widget from which you want to take then a screenshot, so in this case an image widget. To make our screenshot more interesting, I also wrap here a stack around and on top of our image, I also create then here a text widget. So all in all, you have created any widget from which we later take then a screenshot. However, first of all, we want to start by clicking here on this button and then we want to take here of our whole screen a screenshot. To create a screenshot of your screen, go here all the way up and here around your scaffold, you can then wrap a screenshot widget, which comes from the screenshot package. And here inside, you need to define then a controller. And this controller you need to create then within your state. And now we can use this controller to create then a screenshot of the child widget that we have placed here inside. Therefore, let's go here down to our button widget, which is here this capture screen button on the right side. And if we click here on this button, then we want to call on our controller the capture method with which we capture then a screenshot. And we basically capture then here the child property of our screenshot widget. So we capture here the scaffold. And this capture method returns then an image. And by the way, to make use of the screenshot widget, you need to go to your pubspec jml file and here under your dependencies, you need to include then the screenshot package. Next to our capture screen button, we also want to include here another button to capture then here one specific widget. And here we can then access again our controller. And this time we call here the method capture from widget. And then you can basically place here any widget inside from which you want to make then a screenshot. And there are two great things about this capture from widget method. First of all, you can capture a screenshot of any widget and this widget doesn't need to be within your widget tree. So it doesn't need to be here visible on your screen. And secondly, only for this capture method, you need to define here then the screenshot around because the capture method needs this to know then which widget it should take a screenshot from. However, if you use here this capture from widget method, then you also don't need to wrap here the screenshot around. So all in all, you have here two methods. First of all, this capture method where you wrap the screenshot around and otherwise you have here this other method where you simply place then the widget inside. And lastly, this method returns then here also an image of our captured screenshot of this widget here. Next, we want to save our captured screenshot to the phone gallery to our local file storage. Therefore, you need to go first of all to your pubspec jml file and here under your dependencies, you need to include then this image gallery saver and also this permission handler. And with this, we can then save our image to the gallery. After this, go back to your button and here inside you call then the method save image and put here then this image which we have captured inside. Now let's create this save image method and here inside we call then the image gallery saver package and here the method save image and put our bytes inside. And as a result, we get then here the file pass back where our image was saved within the gallery. And to make this work, you also need to include here the name of the file that you want to create. Therefore, I create here the name screenshot and I also want to save multiple screenshots and not overwrite every time the same screenshot. And therefore, I also include here the timestamp and put here the current timestamp inside. And lastly, this image gallery saver also requires that we request here the storage permission so that we can save our image then to the image gallery. We also need to define then this permission storage inside of our Android manifest file. Therefore, go here inside of Android app source main. And here you see the Android manifest file. And here directly under this manifest, you need to include here these two permissions for the external storage. And secondly, you need to go to your application and here inside you need to request then this external storage and set this flag to true. And with this, you can click here on these capture buttons and then he will store your image, your screenshot inside of your gallery. Let's also look at a second example where we share then our captured screenshot. 
First of all, go to your pub spec jumble file and here you include then this share plus package and also the pass provider package under your dependencies. And with these both, we can then share our image. After this, go back to your main file and then go to the button widget. And this is then capturing here this widget. And we want to share then this image. Therefore, I call here a method save and share. And here I put then our bytes inside. Let's now create this save and share method. And here inside, I call then the method share files. And within this method, you need to supply then the path of the file that you want to share. Therefore, we need to store here our bytes first of all to a file. And here I get then the application documents directory where we want to store our bytes inside. And I create then a file and I give it here then some name. And within this file, we want to put then our bytes inside. So all in all, this is storing then our bytes within this image file. And this image file we can then access and share then to our social media. And with this, you can click here on the share button, then he will capture a screenshot and open here up the sharing dialog. Here you can then choose your social media. So in my case, I choose here WhatsApp and then I can share this image that we have captured to WhatsApp. And if you like, you can also add here by default directly a text inside which should be shared. And then if you submit it, then he will share this image and also this text. And lastly, go back here to the share method and here you can then define a text which you also put inside of this method. And this text will then later be shared here also with your post. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Mm -hmm.